Hi, I'm AJ. Hi, I'm Philip. Today, we will be talking about autonomous long haul trucking. Now that you've gone through the objectives of the module, in this course, we will provide an overview of the autonomous long haul trucking technologies as you dive into the rest of the lessons. In particular, we will cover the technical history of autonomous trucking, the important actors driving the technology's development, and some risks posed by its introduction. Finally, we look at how the future of autonomous trucking can be shaped and what it means for you. Autonomous long haul trucking refers to a collection of hardware and software systems that are used to control motor vehicles in a manner increasingly independent of human drivers. Through this process, the technology aims to reduce the cost of shipping goods, increase efficiency, and improve the safety of the current trucking industry. You may have already heard of autonomous trucking in the news and other media as it's become a trending topic. Just this past year, presidential candidate Andrew Yang tweeted, there are 3.5 million truck drivers in America. Another 5 million work in the truck stops, motels, and diners that serve the truckers and their vehicles. What happens to the local economies when those trucks don't stop anymore? This is not science fiction, this is real life. Given the huge imprint long haul trucking has in our society, as autonomous driving becomes a prevalent technology, it's important to understand its context in the modern world. So what does long haul trucking even look like today? Well, throughout the United States, there are 1.25 million drivers completing long hauls, which consist of overnight trips and can range anywhere from 250 miles to entire cross country drives. But what does the current autonomous vehicle industry even look like? As you may know, there's already a desire for personal autonomous vehicles to replace many of our everyday cars. A common example are Teslas, which are fully electric cars that include an autopilot feature. Companies like Tesla and Waymo are already using existing technologies such as cameras, radar, and LiDAR to build autonomous trucks too. But what is radar and what's LiDAR? Uh, why are they important in autonomous trucks? Good question. Radar uses radio waves to detect objects and determine their range, angle, and velocity. LiDAR basically does the same thing, but with pulse laser lights instead, and it creates better images as you can see here. Essentially, it's two different technologies that achieve the same goal of allowing these vehicles to quote, see their environment and quickly respond to important events like a pedestrian entering a crosswalk. But Phil, do you know if this technology has been used on a road yet? Uh, yes, it has. An autonomous trunk has already completed a cross country trip in only three days, successfully delivering a shipload of butter. This test run, along with others, have been great examples of this technology's potential. With this progress in mind, who are responsible for the further development of this breakthrough technology and what are their roles in mitigating the unintended consequences? Well, along with some of the well-known players we mentioned before, like Tesla and Google, who are hard at work developing autonomous driving technology, there are dozens of other corporations and researchers investing resources towards this tech. Some, like Google's Waymo, are testing software and sensor systems that improve the reliability and responsiveness of these vehicles on the road where they interact with human drivers. Others, like Amazon and XPO Logistics, are working hard to prepare other parts of the logistical supply chains for the autonomous truck revolution. Factories and distribution centers also need innovative strategies to interface with these trucks. The reorganization of these supply chains will undoubtedly have revolutionary benefits on how we move and distribute goods, but these changes will affect the various businesses and communities who rely on existing trucking enterprises, like truckers themselves and the diners that serve them. Will these roadside amenities fade in use just as train stations have lost much of their splendor in the past century? While the disruption caused by autonomous trucking may be felt first within the trucking industry, it'll soon affect the entire American economy. Many fear the impact that this disruption could have. As Andrew Yang has said, referring to autonomous vehicles, all you need is self-driving cars to destabilize society. That one innovation will be enough to create riots in the street. But what exactly are the risks that autonomous trucking poses to the economy and society? Look forward to an upcoming exercise where you'll examine some of the common beliefs surrounding this technology's effects and separate the myths from the facts. Phil, we've discussed so many risks surrounding our technology, but doesn't autonomous trucking promise lots of benefits as well? Absolutely. It's important to remember that the current trucking system has plenty of flaws that autonomous vehicles could alleviate. Drivers are often overworked due to their long hours and routes. Additionally, an NHTSA study showed motor vehicle crashes in 2010 cost almost $250 billion in economic activity and close to 40,000 lives. With 94% of serious crashes due to human error, automated vehicles have the potential to eliminate the vast majority of motor vehicle crashes and significantly decrease these deaths and economic costs. It's also important to consider the effects this technology could have on social mobility. Once I suggested that automated vehicles could create 
new employment opportunities for approximately 2 million Americans. This economic mobility could allow for countless numbers of people to pursue fulfilling jobs that were brought about by a new automation revolution within the trucking industry. So given all the momentous changes that experts project in the coming decades, what might we expect to change in our everyday lives? The more efficient transportation of goods through autonomous trucking could impact you in a number of ways. Price of goods could drop across the board as logistical and labor costs are eliminated. Statistics like vehicle accidents could plummet as sophisticated software in trucks becomes more present in highway traffic. So given the promises and risks of a nationwide automated trucking network, what can we do to influence the development of this technology? While much of the language surrounding automated trucking makes it seem as if the future is already determined, we as a public have the potential to fundamentally shape its development and implementation. New technologies, after all, are not inevitabilities, but are culturally designed and have been molded by the needs and sensibilities belonging to the society which develops it. Everything from the direct policy that regulates autonomous vehicle testing to the social norms dictating our consumption of distant goods to the moral and legal considerations of human designed algorithms making critical decisions on shared roads all will likely evolve in the coming decades. What will our response be to the problems posed by trucking's automation? Will we attempt to relieve communities harmed by the change? Will we try to moderate or even slow the progress of automation or seek out alternative technologies to move our goods? These decisions will be, will be made not just by the innovative companies working to implement this technology, but the wide array of stakeholders representing all sorts of interests. Government agencies, citizen action groups, and research universities like ASU are just a few examples of the, diver, the diverse group of actors actively shaping the technology. This is because the development of new technology is not linear, as it doesn't always follow a set progression of discrete steps. Rather, the nonlinear model of innovation represents a complex network of different institutions that are constantly interacting with each other at each stage of a technology's development in order to help address the technical and cultural needs of the society. From governmental offices and citizen action groups to research organizations, there is a multitude of ways to become involved in the developing story of autonomous trucking. If you are an aspiring scientist, policymaker, activist, or even just invested in the exciting future that we are constantly creating. Continue your investigation through this module and see where it takes you.